My Chemical Romance MCR was an American rock band from Newark, New Jersey, active from 2001 to 2013. The band's best-known lineup consisted of lead vocalist Gerard Way, guitarists Ray Toro and Frank Iero, bassist Mikey Way, and drummer Bob Breyer, accompanied by keyboardist James DeWees. Founded by Gerard, Mikey, Toro, and Matt Palicia and later joined by Iero, the band signed to Eyeball Records and released their debut album, I Brought You My Bullets, You Brought Me Your Love, in 2002. They signed with Reprise Records the next year and released their major label debut, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, in 2004. Shortly after the album's release, Policia was replaced by Bob Breyer. A commercial success, the album was awarded platinum status over a year later. The band eclipsed the previous success with their 2006 concept album, The Black Parade, which gained generally favorable reviews among music critics and was certified double platinum in the United States and the United Kingdom, the band's only double platinum. After the departure of longtime drummer Bob Breyer in March 2010, the band released their fourth studio album, Danger Days, The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys, in November that same year, to positive reviews. After the addition of touring keyboardist James DeWeese in 2012 and the release of Conventional Weapons, a series of singles recorded in 2009, released over the course of five months, the band announced its breakup on March 22, 2013, one month after the final release in the Conventional Weapons series. After the band split, a Greatest Hits album entitled May Death Never Stop You was released in March 2014. A 10th anniversary reissue of The Black Parade was released in September 2016 titled The Black Parade, Living with Ghosts. History Topic Early career 2001 2002, The band was formed by frontman Gerard Way and drummer Matt Palicia in Newark, New Jersey, soon after the September 11 attacks. Witnessing the World Trade Center Towers fall influenced Way's life to the extent that he decided to start a band. Way wrote the song Skylines and Turnstiles to express his feelings about September 11th and shortly thereafter, Ray Toro was recruited as the band's guitarist because at the time Way could not sing and play the guitar simultaneously. The name of the band was suggested by bass guitarist Mikey Way, younger brother of Gerard, who was working in a Barnes & Noble when he was struck by the title of a book by Irvin Welsh named Ecstasy, Three Tales of Chemical Romance. The first recording sessions were undertaken in Policia's attic, where the songs Our Lady of Sorrows and Cubicles were recorded. The band refers to those sessions as the attic demos. After hearing the demo and dropping out of college, Mikey Way decided to join the band. While with Eyeball Records, the band met Frank Iero, the lead vocalist and guitarist for Pensy Prep. Following Pensy Prep split in 2002, Iero became a member of My Chemical Romance, just days prior to the recording of the band's debut album. They recorded their debut album, I Brought You My Bullets, You Brought Me Your Love, just three months after the formation of the band and released it in 2002 through Eyeball Records. The album was produced by Thursday frontman Jeff Rickley after the band became friends with him while playing shows in New Jersey. 
Iero played guitar on two of the tracks, one of which was Early Sunsets Over Monroeville. During this time, the band was booked at the infamous venue, Big Daddy's, where they began to receive more attention. My Chemical Romance offered free downloads through Purevolume and the social networking website MySpace, where they gained an initial fan base. Topic: Major label signing and three cheers for Sweet Revenge, 2003 to 2006. In 2003, the band signed a deal with Reprise Records. Following a tour with Avenge Sevenfold, the band began working on their second album, which was entitled Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, which was released on June 8, 2004. A month after the album's release, the band replaced Matt Policia with Bob Breyer. The band released four singles from the album, I'm Not OK, I Promise, Thank You for the Venom. Helena, and The Ghost of You. The album went platinum in just over a year of its release. At the beginning of 2005, the band was featured on the first Taste of Chaos tour along with the used and Killswitch Engage. The band also was the opening act for Green Day on their American Idiot tour. They then co headlined Warped Tour 2005 with Fall Out Boy and co headlined a tour with Alkaline Trio and Reggie and the full effect around the US. That same year, My Chemical Romance collaborated with The Used for a cover of the Queen and David Bowie classic, Under Pressure, which was released as a benefit single for Tsunami Relief on iTunes and other internet outlets. In March 2006, the album Life on the Murder Scene was released, incorporating a CD and two DVDs. It included one documentary DVD chronicling the band's history, and a second DVD with music videos, the making of their videos, and live performances. An unauthorized biography DVD Things That Make You Go Im, was also released in June 2006. The DVD does not actually feature any My Chemical Romance music clips or performances but contains interviews with those who knew the band before much of their fame. A biography titled Something Incredible This Way Comes was also released, written by Paul Stenning and published in 2006. It features information on their beginnings right through to their third album, The Black Parade. Topic: <laughs> The Black Parade 2006 to 2009. My Chemical Romance started recording their third studio album on April 10, 2006 with Rob Cavallo, producer of many of Green Day's albums. It was originally thought to be titled The Rise and Fall of My Chemical Romance in reference to the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars by David Bowie, but in an interview with Kerrang! magazine, Gerard Way suggested this was just the album's working title, stating, It was never the title of the album, more a spoof, or joke. On August 3, 2006, the band completed shooting the videos for their first two singles from the album, Welcome to the Black Parade, and although not released until January 2007, Famous Last Words. Both videos were directed by Samuel Bayer, director of Nirvana's Smells Like Teen Spirit and Green Day's American Idiot videos. During filming for the second video, band members Gerard Way and Bob Breyer were injured. Way suffered torn ligaments in his ankle, and Breyer a burn to the leg which caused a severe staph infection that needed constant monitoring in the hospital. 
Consequently, the band was forced to cancel a few tour dates. While these injuries were reported by several news agencies to have been the result of a car accident, a statement released by the band on their website and MySpace page confirmed that these injuries occurred on the set of the video. On August 22, 2006, the band played a special one off show at the 1800 capacity London Hammersmith Palais. The show sold out in 15 minutes, prompting tickets to be resold on eBay well over the ticket's face value. The name of the album was announced and 20 people dressed in black capes with their faces obscured paraded around the Hammersmith, followed by a large group of fans and street team members with signs saying, The Black Parade. Later during the show, the album title and the UK release date were confirmed. Before the band took the stage, it was announced that My Chemical Romance was unable to play, but they would be replaced by The Black Parade. After initial crowd hostility, it became clear the band was simply performing under a pseudonym in keeping with the theme of the album. Since then, the band would often perform under the alias, The Black Parade, wearing the costumes seen in the album's music videos. Gerard Way would adopt the persona of the leader of the marching band, The Black Parade, and vary his behavior and performance accordingly. Welcome to The Black Parade was released as a single on September 11, 2006. On September 26, 2006, the music video for Welcome to the Black Parade was released in the UK, and on September 27 in the US. The single became the band's first number one on the UK singles chart in October 2006. The Black Parade was released on October 23, 2006, in the United Kingdom and on October 24, 2006, in the United States to positive reviews. The Black Parade World Tour commenced on February 22, 2007, with the eventuating 133 shows featuring Rise Against, Thursday and Muse as support acts. Reggie and the full effect frontman James DeWeese joined the band to play keyboards and synthesizer from there on. In April 2007, it was announced that Mikey Way would temporarily leave the tour to spend time with his new wife, Alicia Simmons Way. Way's temporary replacement was Matt Cortez, a friend of the band. During the third leg of the tour, as a support act for Muse, members of My Chemical Romance and their crew, along with members of Muse's crew, suffered food poisoning, and consequently had to cancel six shows. The band later featured on Linkin Park's Project Revolution tour in 2007, along with Placebo, Mindless Self Indulgence, Siosin, Taking Back Sunday, and Him. My Chemical Romance received mixed accolades for the Black Parade. Kerrang! rated the Black Parade as the fourth greatest album of 2006. In Rolling Stone magazine's ranking of the top 50 albums of 2006, the Black Parade was voted the 20th best album of the year. My Chemical Romance went on to win the award for Best International Band at the 2007 NME Awards, and Gerard Way also won the Hero of the Year Award. My Chemical Romance was also nominated for Best Alternative Group at the 2007 American Music Awards. The band announced in a blog on their website that they would be going on a final tour in the United States before taking a break. 
At the same time, they announced they will be releasing a live DVD, CD collection titled The Black Parade is Dead, which includes two concerts from October 2007, the final Black Parade concert in Mexico, and a small show at Maxwell's in New Jersey. The DVD, CD was meant to be released on June 24 in the United States and June 30 in the UK, but was postponed to July 1 because of a technical fault with the Mexico concert. In February 2009, an EP of B-side songs from Singles on the Black Parade was released, titled The Black Parade, The B-Sides. Topic: Danger Days, The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys, 2009 to 2011. In 2009, My Chemical Romance released a new single entitled Desolation Row, a cover of the Bob Dylan song, on February 1, 2009. It was recorded to feature as the end credit track for the 2009 film Watchmen, an adaptation of the graphic novel of the same name. The band then announced that they would be releasing a collection of nine never-before-seen live videos, straight from the encore set of the Mexico City show from October 2007, entitled Venganza. The release came on a bullet-shaped flash drive and also contained exclusive photos of the band from the show. It was released on April 29, 2009. On May 27, 2009, My Chemical Romance's web designer, Jeff Watson, announced via the band's website that the band was headed to the studio to record their fourth full-length album. The recording took place over the following few weeks with producer Brendan O'Brien, who has worked with ACDC, Mastodon, and Pearl Jam. In an interview with NME, Gerard Way said the band's next record would be a rock album, saying, I think the next album will definitely be stripped down. I think the band misses being a rock band. In a separate interview with Idiomag, Way commented that the next release would be less theatrical in scope, stating that, "...it's not going to be hiding behind a veil of fiction or uniforms and makeup anymore." In an interview with Pop Eater, Way also stated that the next album will be, "...full of hate." He also said, over the years that we've been hearing ourselves live and hearing us on records, we kind of prefer the live. There's more of a garage feel and more energy. I'd like to capture some of that, finally. That's the goal for the next one." On July 31 and August 1, 2009, My Chemical Romance played to Secret shows at the Roxy Theater in Los Angeles. The shows were the first concerts the band had played since Madison Square Garden in May 2008. The band also premiered several new songs said to be from their upcoming fourth album during the shows, one reportedly titled, Death Before Disco, a song that Way said he was particularly excited about. The song was since renamed, Party Poison, and was included on the new album. Way explained further in a Rolling Stone interview that, It's a completely different sound for the band. It's like an anti-party song that you can party to. I can't wait for people to hear it. It brings back, lyrically, some of that wonderful fiction from the first album. Gerard Way also said in a November 2009 interview with Rock Sound that the fourth album would be their defining work. A friend who heard the record recently said he now had no interest in listening to our older work anymore, that we had made all our old material redundant. 
I took it as a compliment, the next thing you should always make the last thing seem unimportant and I think that will happen when we finally release this album." On March 3, 2010, Iero announced on their official website that Bob Breyer had left the band, writing, As of four weeks ago, My Chemical Romance and Bob Breyer parted ways. This was a painful decision for all of us to make and was not taken lightly. We wish him the best of luck in his future endeavors and expect you all to do the same. In a March 2010 MTV interview about the new album, Way explained, There's no title yet. I'm actually kind of excited about that. It's kind of anything goes at this point, but I'm so happy with the songs. Though the band since decided on the title of their fourth album, it continued to go unannounced, with various rumors circulating and the band stating on their website that it will be revealed, all in due time, and in Way's words, a special way this time. Maybe some sort of event, something fun, something soon. During the San Diego Comic Con 2010, Way announced that the band had finished recording the fourth studio album. This was later confirmed by Iero on the band's website, announcing that the album was done, finished, kaput, in the proverbial can, and being played loudly as we drive way too fast in our respective cars." In September, a trailer video was uploaded to My Chemical Romance's official YouTube page entitled Art is a Weapon, which announced the title of the album, Danger Days, The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys. The video featured the band wearing strangely colored outfits and battling unusual characters in a desert surrounding, and featuring a sample of music from the song, Na 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 Notable comic book author and the band's personal friend, Grant Morrison, makes a special appearance, in the role of an enemy and leader of a band of masked characters. On September 22, 2010, the band premiered their song, Na 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 on Zane Lowe's BBC Radio 1 show, and Los Angeles-based radio station KROQ-FM. The album was released on November 22, 2010. Rock Sound had a preview of the album and gave a positive review, commenting, The way they've used everything they learned on the Black Parade and tightened up in certain places feels natural and confident, and that it sees the creativity of the band taking flight musically, graphically, and literally. Michael Pedicone joined the band as a touring drummer late in 2010, replacing Briar. During a performance at Wembley Arena on February 12, 2011, Way announced that the band would be appearing at a UK festival later in the year, later confirmed as the Reading and Leeds festivals, which they headlined. They also performed at Radio 1's Big Weekend in Carlisle, England on May 15, 2011. On September 2, 2011, Frank Iero posted a blog on the band's site stating, The relationship between My Chemical Romance and Michael Pedicone is over, and explaining Pedicone was sacked because he was caught red-handed stealing from the band and confessed to police after our show last night in Auburn, Washington." He also mentioned his hope of getting a new drummer in time for their next show and avoiding having to cancel any performances in the process. On September 4, 2011, it was revealed through various sources that Jared Alexander will be the new touring drummer for the remainder of the Honda Civic Tour. 
He also performed with them in late October at Voodoo Experience and at their Australian Plus New Zealand shows at Big Day Out in early 2012. Topic: <laughs> Conventional Weapons and Breakup 2011 to 2013. In an interview with Rolling Stone in October 2011, guitarist Frank Iero revealed that new music could be out by summer. On December 18, 2011, the band appeared on Nick Jr.'s Yo Gabba Gabba and performed a song called Every Snowflake is Different, Just Like You. This was part of a Christmas special for the show. The special included other famous guests such as Tony Hawk and Tory Spelling. In February 2012, members of My Chemical Romance revealed that they had been building a studio in Los Angeles to record music for the band's fifth album under the working title MCR5, now with touring keyboardist James DeWeese as an official member. The band worked with engineer Doug McKean, who previously worked on The Black Parade and Danger Days, The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys. On September 14, 2012, Frank Iero announced through the band's official website a new project entitled Conventional Weapons. The project revolved around ten unreleased songs that were recorded in 2009, prior to the making of Danger Days. The band released two songs each month for five months from the Conventional Weapons sessions, starting in October 2012 and finishing in February 2013. According to the October 2012 issue of Q magazine, Frank Iero reported early sessions for MCR's next album with the new drummer Jared Alexander were progressing well. Jared is a rad guy and a fantastic player. It's been really fun making music with him these past few months. Iero commented, on March 22, 2013, the band announced their breakup on their official website, issuing this statement, Being in this band for the past 12 years has been a true blessing. We've gotten to go places we never knew we would. We've been able to see and experience things we never imagined possible. We've shared the stage with people we admire, people we look up to, and best of all, our friends. And now, like all great things, it has come time for it to end. Thanks for all of your support, and for being part of the adventure. Gerard Way posted an extended tweet on his Twitter account two days after the website announcement, where he confirmed the disbanding of the group but denied that altercations between band members were the reason for the split. <laughs> May Death Never Stop You and Post Breakup 2014 Present On March 25, 2014, the band released a Greatest Hits collection, entitled May Death Never Stop You, containing material spreading their entire career, as well as single unreleased track. The track, Fake Your Death, was made available digitally on February 17. Following the band's breakup, the members of the band continued to pursue music. Lead vocalist Gerard Way announced his debut solo album Hesitant Alien with the release of an advance single, Action Cat. Hesitant Alien was released on September 29, 2014 in the UK, and a day later in the US Hesitant Alien was a moderate commercial success, topping the US Billboard Alternative Albums chart and reaching number 16 on the US Billboard 200. Hesitant Alien also topped the 10 Essential Albums of 2014 
List in alternative press, rhythm guitarist Frank Iero sporadically collaborated with My Chemical Romance keyboardist James DeWeese, forming Death Spells and performing in Reggie and the Full Effect alongside Ray Toro, releasing No Country for Old Musicians on November 19, 2013. Afterwards, he announced via his official website that he signed to Staple Records and would be releasing a full-length solo album entitled Stomachaches under the moniker of Frink Hero and the Celebration. The album featured former My Chemical Romance touring drummer Jared Alexander. Stomachaches was released worldwide on August 25, 2014. Bassist Mikey Way formed Electric Century along with Sleep Station vocalist David Dubiak in 2014 and released their debut single, I Lied, in February 2014. The duo announced their debut self titled EP on March 10, 2015, and was released on Record Store Day on April 18, 2015. Lead guitarist Ray Toro posted a song on his SoundCloud account entitled, Isn't That Something? on May 24, 2013. On January 1, 2015, he posted a new song, titled, For the Lost and Brave, on his website, dedicating the song to Leela Alcorn, a transgender teen who committed suicide. On July 20, 2016, the band posted on their official Twitter and Facebook pages a video with the piano intro from Welcome to the Black Parade, ending with a cryptic date, September 23, 16. The video was also published on the band's YouTube channel with the video titled, MCRX. This led to numerous rumors and reports on the band's possible reunion until it was revealed to be a reissue of the Black Parade with unreleased demos. The reissue, titled The Black Parade, Living with Ghosts, includes 11 demos and live tracks. Two months before its release, an early version of Welcome to the Black Parade, titled The Five of Us Are Dying, was made available for streaming. In a discussion of his work on the comic book Doom Patrol, Gerard Way told Billboard, I wouldn't count a reunion out, but at the same time, everybody's doing stuff in their lives now that they're really enjoying. Topic. Musical style and influences My Chemical Romance's general style has been categorized as alternative rock, pop-punk, post-hardcore, punk rock, emo-pop, hard rock, gothic rock, and, most controversially, emo. The band's official website describes their music as simply rock or violent, dangerous pop. Gerard Way has publicly rejected the term emo, describing the genre as fucking garbage. However, Way has reportedly also described the band's style as what else ya got emo. The band's sound usually has elements of punk rock, pop and alternative rock. I Brought You My Bullets, You Brought Me Your Love, the band's debut album, features a raw sound that has guitar riffs, very energetic vocals and sometimes screaming. The album has been described as emo, post-hardcore, alternative rock, screamo, punk rock, gothic rock, pop punk, and garage punk. The album also has some influences from hardcore punk and heavy metal. The second album, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, was one of the albums that launched the emo genre into the mainstream. Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge was described as alternative rock, emo, pop-punk, post-hardcore, and punk rock. The band's third album, The Black Parade, has been described as alternative rock, emo, pop-punk, post-hardcore, punk rock, and hard rock. 
The album has influences from 1970s classic rock, glam rock, pop, and gothic rock. The band's fourth album, Danger Days, The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys, was described as alternative rock pop punk, power pop, pop rock, and electronic rock, Gerard Way said to Rolling Stone. We love bands like Queen, where it's huge and majestic, but also bands like Black Flag and The Misfits, who would go absolutely crazy. Way has stated that the band is heavily influenced by Queen, Misfits, Black Flag, Iron Maiden, The Cure, Joy Division, Bauhaus, Susie and the Banshees, and The Smiths, Morrissey. Way has also said that his band patterns their career after that of the Smashing Pumpkins, another band they admire. Frank Iero cites the punk band Lifetime as a big influence. Topic. Controversy Topic. UK tabloid incident On May 8, 2008, British tabloid The Sun published an article entitled, Suicide of Hannah, The Secret Emo which reported the death of a 13-year-old British girl named Hannah Bond, who had hanged herself supposedly because of her involvement with a reported self-harming emo cult, which the newspaper directly associated with My Chemical Romance, and their then-current album The Black Parade, which was said to be linked to her suicide. In the article, Coroner Roger Sykes expressed concern that Bond's emo lifestyle glamorized suicide and suggested that her obsession with My Chemical Romance was linked to her death. Supporters of emo music contacted NME to defend the genre against accusations that it promotes suicide. A group of British fans eventually planned a march across London in protest against the depiction of the band in the media. The march was expected to be held on May 31st, beginning at Hyde Park's West Pond and ending outside the offices of tabloid newspaper The Daily Mail, which widely criticized My Chemical Romance and had published general pieces about the dangers of suicide cults. The march was expected to attract 500 1,000 protesters, according to the organizers. After concerns by police, the march was called off and instead about 100 fans congregated at Marble Arch. The band repeated the statement, Fuck the Daily Mail, during their gigs in the United Kingdom. The Daily Mail defended its position saying its coverage was, balanced and restrained, and, in the public interest and that they were reporting genuine concerns raised by the coroner at the inquest. They stated that their coverage of the coroner's remarks and the parents' comments was in common with that of other newspapers and pointed to their publishing of readers' letters defending the band and positive reviews of the band's albums and tours. Glenn Beck's accusation of propaganda On April 28, 2011, U.S. broadcaster Glenn Beck labeled the My Chemical Romance song, Sing, as propaganda, after it was featured and covered on the U.S. musical drama TV series Glee in February 2011. Beck stated, it's an anthem saying, join us. How can you and I possibly win against that? The lyrics that Beck pointed out were, cleaned up corporation progress, dying in the process, children that can talk about it living on the railways, sick, 
people moving sideways, sell it till your last days, buy yourself the motivation, generation nothing, nothing but a dead scene, product of a white dream." Gerard Way responded to the accusation on the band's official website, writing, I think the word Glenn Beck was looking for was subversion, not propaganda, because I don't know what it would be considered propaganda for truth. Sentiment. He also said that he was shocked that no actual fact checking was done on the lyrics. Bassist Mikey Way told the BBC, if we're getting reaction from people like that we're doing something right. Tours My Chemical Romance played in many major tours of 2005. The band toured with Green Day in 2005 on the Green Day Presents American Idiot Tour. They were also part of the Warped Tour in the same year. For a lot of kids, it's the one thing they look forward to all year," said Gerard Way of the Warped Tour. They save up for it. They get to see all the bands they like in one shot. Their set list included mostly songs from Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. My Chemical Romance Co. headlined the main stage with the used on the Taste of Chaos tour, before starting their first headlining tour, simply named the My Chemical Romance Tour. The tour launched September 15 in Ohio, stopping at 30 locations in the United States, to promote their album, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. Supporting were Alkaline Trio and Reggie and the Full Effect. This tour marked the beginning of the heavy theatrics later showcased in many of their live shows. Way expressed his plans for the tour in an interview with MTV, saying, We'd talked about bringing out dancers for our headlining tour in the fall, but it's a big undertaking, you have to have a bus full of dancers. We've always wanted to do a big theatrical tour. But you have to do it in steps." The use of theatrics was evident during the Black Parade World Tour, which supported their album of the same name. The tour featured 133 performances worldwide, featuring three legs in North America, one in Europe, Asia, and South America, and one internationally. The band joined headliners Linkin Park on Project Revolution 2007, starting on July 25 and ending on September 3, 2007. The band played a one-hour set on center stage, opening with, This is how I disappear, as flames burst behind the band. The set ended with, Cancer, occasionally with falling confetti, and fireworks. Following the Project Revolution tour, they opened for Bon Jovi in October and then departed for a European tour with mindless self-indulgence. On September 19, 2010, the band announced, The World Contamination Tour, which took place in parts of the UK, France, Amsterdam and Germany. <laughs> <laughs> band members Timeline Topic Discography I Brought You My Bullets, You Brought Me Your Love, two thousand and two Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, two thousand and four The Black Parade, two thousand and six Danger Days, The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys, 2010.
Topic See also List of artists who reached number 1 on the US Alternative Rock Chart List of awards and nominations received by My Chemical Romance